Alright, so as you can see, I have only a thousand gamer score. I have all the achievements for Modern Warfare 2 because I modded that earlier just for a test run. And we're going to add all the Fallout 3 achievements, all the Mass Effect 2 achievements, and all the Borderlands achievements. That's a lot. So I'll have 246 achievements and 5105 gamer score. Alright, flash drive users, you want to sign out of your profile and scroll over to your system settings tab. Scroll down to memory and then select hard drive. Go to gamer profiles and then select the one that you want to mod your gamer score for. Click move and select memory unit. And it should be done. You can plug your USB into your computer and load it up with USB XTAF Explorer. Alright, hard drive transfer cable users. This is how you'll get your profile onto your computer. You want to right click and run export 360 as an administrator. And you want to make sure you have these .dll files in the same folder that you're running it uh, as an administrator from. So do that. I already have it open. Come up with a little device loader here. And it'll say the size of your hard drive. And it'll say device 1. And then once you have it loaded, press OK. And then click partition 3. And then you'll see all of these things here. There's a profile because you see games played. And if I go into that, you'll see like save game data. That's all you'll know. But I know this is my profile down here that I want to mod. So I'm going to click FFFE071 Gamer Picks Themes Profile Data and click 000 10,000. Right here will be your file. Depending on how big it is, this is a brand new profile that I made. Just like a tutorial profile. Uh, it's small. Yours might be 4 to like 15 megabytes. Depending on how many games you play. And drag and drop it onto your desktop. And there you go. Your profile is now on your computer. And... Hard drive transfer cable users, you can now skip to the part where you mod your achievements. Okay, flash drive users, make sure you have USB XTAF Explorer. Link is in the description. Right click and run it as administrator. Make sure you have this io.dll in the same folder that you ran it from. Plug in your flash drive, that's important. <laughs> File, open device, content, just click until you can't anymore, and you'll finally come to this E000 file. That's mine. I'm going to extract to my desktop. I'm going to save it. I already put one on there from earlier when I extracted it from export. But just to show USB users, that's how you put your profile on your computer. See you at the next step. Alright, so once you have your profile on your computer, you want to go ahead and get Profile Editor Version 2. Now you want to make sure you have all of these uh, .dll files here. Right click it and run it as administrator. Then click open. And find your profile. Wherever you put it. And it pops up right here. And if you have a bio uh, that you don't want to erase. Just go to xbox.com and edit your profile. And uh, just after you done everything uh, signing back into Xbox Live on your console just save this again and it'll it'll keep it so don't worry 
go to the games that you want to unlock the achievements for. I'm going to click Fallout 3. I'm going to unlock all offline. It says you should reorder your achievements after using the unlock all button. And if you get reset, well, that sucks. That's the risk you take with mining achievements, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go to Mass Effect 2, unlock all, offline. Then I'm going to save it again. And I'm going to go to Borderlands and unlock all, offline. And save it one last time. And save. And there you go. Your new profile should show up right here. And all you have to do is put it on your device and load your 360 up. I'll show you how to put it on your device in the next step. Okay, so once you're at your Xbox, make sure you're out of Xbox Live and go over to your sign in and then select the profile that you just modded the achievements for. There it is 5105. And that's how much I should have. Sign in, and sometimes uh, when you actually look at your achievements, uh, it'll show up like that you don't have like all of them. So you might need to go back in and redo it. Uh, I'll check right now. Nope, I have them all unlocked. But another way you can check too is going, click the guide button, and then check your achievements. I have them all. That's how you mod your uh, achievements, guys. Happy gaming.